You want to sell? Be out here all day. <laughs> but on a Saturday, it's worse of things. It, it is, that but could be doing. I know. Yeah. But all uh, sin is sin, though. Yeah. It's and okay. we all judge according it's to it. It's all right. And guess what? I won't judge where I won't be. Okay. Now, how old are you if you don't mind? I'm 23. Me? That's a good thing. 23. And then the music. Well, 24, you. actually. I'll be forgetting you my birthday. You all right, whatever it is. You letting <laughs> God use you. Yeah. And you? Sorry. 23. Look at God. See, I'm, uh, I'm half 100. Say. 23. I'm 57. Oh, I'm 57. Yeah, we from here. Born and raised. That's all right. That's all right. And he said, you know, you want to use what you We do it together. We do it together. We're not free spirits. We have a con we have a congregation. It's believers of the way. That's our church name, believers of the way. We have a congregation, believers of the way. We congregate. We keep the feast days together. Uh, we don't believe that God dwells in temples made with hands, as the scriptures say. Right? The temple. Is you, you. according to First Corinthians you're, three? You you're the temple. Church. Here, where you go? And even when you look up the word church in the Greek, it's ecclesia, which means a body of believers. Oh. So it's the people that makes the church, not the building. Huh? You're right. Now I've heard that. So, See, but I'm gonna tell you something. Uh -huh. This is what I get. It's two sides there, and I'll be like, make it make sense. Yes, ma'am. So you'll go to the book which somebody read, had wrote that book. Uh huh. Still, when you go to some churches. They teach you what they want you to know. Uh -huh. That's why I got to the point. I don't want to be controlled by nobody. I agree and with another you. thing, I don't want to be lied to. I agree with that you. That pisses me off. I agree with when you. When I find out the truth. See, so we all got to find our way. But whatever, keep your mind. That's what's important to me. And you that, know what I'm saying? If you keep your 30. mind to be in church all week long, or whatever it is, keep your it. mind, you keep your mind. But I do, I don't believe yeah, it'll keep it you out of here. <laughs> We got you a couple more since because you're making some valid points and this is the same thing that we learned we grew up in the church too we grew up in the church the lord blessed us to open our eyes at a young age and you get upset because when you open your eyes and your ears mm -hmm. to the creator and you don't hear a man yeah that's me i'm at that point i'll be like look do something new in me uh -huh. right? even when i go in my prayer closet I, I close my ears i don't want to hear yeah. nothing that's how it should nothing. be it should be private and this is the thing though God set up teachers in these last days to yeah. tell our people the truth. Exactly. And, and that's get, what we're doing. Then you get people that want to debate with you. We had one young man, he got really upset with us. He said, is God and Jesus the same person? I told her, ask her, and she said yes. Y'all believe in the, that Jesus and God are the same person? Look, look, I believe in the parade, okay? Hey, sister. Yes. You, hey, I got you. I want to, yeah, to that point, because I want to show y'all something. Say, say. She said that uh, you you told someone that Jesus no, and God would have said. Somebody approached us. Oh, okay. That's, that was their question. Oh, okay. That was that. that Do y'all was... believe that? He, that Jesus and God are the same person? He asked yes. that. He said, Do we believe that Jesus yes. and God are the same person? Uh huh. And I said, Who is the author? And Who the, is the author? Uh -huh. And he said, uh, Jesus and God and the Holy Ghost, the Trinity, the Father. I said, I said, First so, Corinthians 8 6. So did, 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 I said, well, did that answer your question since you had a question? Mm -hmm. Who is your father? Because mm -hmm. that's what you asked. Yeah. You know, who's mm -hmm. the head of this? But you have to learn okay. that he's all our father. Okay. Even he, when you're coming, when you're coming to this world. He said, but he was taught that he wasn't. He's a father. You know? uh, it's back here, King. First Corinthians 8 6 first book right. after Romans. I want to show y'all something. That's, that's excellent because I used to be of the belief yes. of a trinity too. Right? Until, like my sister said, yeah, hey, you start reading that book. Yes. Yeah. That's first Corinthians sell. 8 and 6. 8 and 6, King. Read that. Okay, it's the book of 1 Corinthians. Scroll up a little bit so the sister can hear you. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 6. Uh -huh. But to us, there is but one God. But one what? But one God. Read. The Father of the whom God. are all things. Read. And we in him. Uh huh. And one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom all, by whom are all things, and uh -huh. we by Him. So there's one God who is the Father, and there's one Lord Jesus Christ. So there's a differentiation in the two. And furthermore, First Corinthians eleven and three, right? Because Jesus answers to God. Because under the Trinity belief, they're co-equal and coexistent. But the Bible says otherwise. First Corinthians eleven and three. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Uh -huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of the woman is the man. Uh -huh. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. Mm -hmm. So there's a hierarchy even in heaven. Mm -hmm. It's God, Christ, man, and woman. 
Right, give me John 14 and 28. Just give y'all giving y'all a few. John 14 and 28. Man is the head and the woman is the neck. Definitely. That's what the scriptures say. Hey, if you believe in the scriptures, that's what it say. That's what it say. John 14 and 28. That's right. Con, it's the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 28. Uh-huh. We're saying the same thing. Uh-huh. Yes. It says, Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. And this is Jesus talking. Right. If ye love me, ye will rejoice, because I said I go unto the Father. For what? For my Father is greater than I. So God is greater than Christ. He is more powerful. He gave, He is the one that sent Christ. He gave us. If you are under the understanding of a trinity, you have to believe that Christ sent himself. And Christ said, my father sent me. So there's a differentiation in the entities. They're two different entities. And God is greater than Christ. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. Because Christ taught that. Have you ever asked God a question, closed your eyes, and opened your book, and point and answer? Uh, it depends on what kind of spiritual bag I'm in. Like, sometimes I'll be outside, I'll I've let the wind. Yeah, yeah let my <laughs> let my pages open, you know. And sometimes he'll send me somewhere where I may need to go, so yeah. So what I'm saying, I have told people uh -huh. to ask a question to God. Mm -hmm. Close their eyes, point, and read. And he speaks to you. You know, it's a way to get answers, though. Like, it's a proper way to pray. Come on, first, walk with first, you yeah. come Okay, come on. Yeah. First Kings. 8 and 54, start there. Yeah. Go and teach these sisters how to pray properly to get their questions answered. First Kings 8 and 54. Yep. Actually, start at verse 48. Yeah, come on. Go ahead. Tentra, I buy. I need to learn Spanish so I can talk to them too. First Kings 8 and 48. Come. This is the book of First Kings, chapter 8 and verse 48. Uh huh. And so return thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of. Uh, 44. 44? Uh huh. If thy people go out to battle against their enemy, uh -huh. whithersoever thou shalt send them, and shalt pray unto the Lord toward the city which thou hast chosen, and uh -huh. toward the house that I have built for thy name, then thou in heaven their prayer, then the hear prayer thou, yep. then hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication, and maintain their cause. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sin of night. Uh -huh. And thou be angry with them and deliver them unto the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy, uh -huh. far or near. So we have to pray toward Jerusalem. So that land that he's talking about is Jerusalem, and that's facing the east from America. Jerusalem is to the east of America. So when you pray now, you get your phone out, or if you got a compass, and you find the east and you face toward that way when you're throwing up your prayers. Now give me uh, this uh, with his hand stretched up. Yep. And it was so. That when Solomon had made an end of praying uh -huh. all this prayer and supplication unto the Lord, he arose from before the altar of the Lord from kneeling on his knees so with his hands. We prostrate ourselves to the Most High because he is the all powerful. We get on our knees or yeah. fully prostrate. We head down by the bench. Exactly. <laughs> from kneeling Thank on God his... my bed and become a cooling boy. And there you go. Okay. <laughs> from kneeling on his <laughs> knees with his hands spread up to heaven so you know how people get them tattoos of the praying hands and they put together mm -hmm. and the scriptures is like this because it's like a baby we become babies receive you asking it. for something yeah receive there you go now give me first corinthians 11 and 3. please don't tell my baby she i had that chair since my grandson was 20 to 24 that's the first chair the boy you can't have it. <laughs> okay go ahead <laughs> first corinthians 11 and 3. we're gonna go back there well four start at verse four Okay, Save my chair. Save my chair. Okay, there we go. Yep. <laughs> 11. Respect here. Wendy out here. All praise to the most high. 11 and 4. Uh, it's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 4. Uh huh. 
every man praying or prophesying having his head covered this honor of his head so when we pray as men we take our caps off we take hoods off whatever the case may be when we talking to those brothers they was some humble brothers one of them had his hood on as soon as we brought that out he dropped that hood well you never know what they've been under mm -hmm. sometimes you leave family to find family mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying yeah. and that's what you guys are doing yep. a way out and that's mm -hmm. what i'm doing so with that being said I wish you well on your journey in life just as well for me. Now, for one, I I didn't have a, a good childhood. I didn't even get to have one. I was raped at that time and had a baby. So I never had a childhood. And I'm raising two granddaughters to the point that I don't want that to happen. When you say you can have a boyfriend or girlfriend that means touchy feeling. Yeah. Your body is to be killed. Mm -hmm. So it will be special because that boyfriend been somebody else's boyfriend, that girlfriend been somebody else's boyfriend. All I know is whatever he pours inside of me. I thank God for putting you guys in my book of life. I pray for your journey, like I said. But some things I don't understand, and it's okay. But even with you telling me, it's still two sides to it. But to see you guys reach someone today, uh, more than one person, that made a difference in my life that I wanted to embrace you guys. And just saying, uh, I mean, it just gave me joy to see I'll that. Pray. You know, you know uh, my sister and I, like I said, I left church a long time ago. I'm with you on that. <laughs> because God don't need your money. People. Yeah, So for sure. my thing is just until he showed me the way, and I accept it, which I, I, accept, I accept things that, that sit well with me, but I have to know you first in order to accept what you're saying, but we do touch and agree on things, certain things you said I agree, certain things I have not experienced, so therefore, I'm going to still love you, yeah, just that. for sure, it's just that I might just do it your way, but it's, it's all is well. I tell people, don't repeat the hurt. Just say all is well. Because when you repeat the hurt, everything that happened in the past comes back to reflect on what happened. But everything behind you is what got you where you at today. Like I said, don't turn around. Don't back there. Yeah. Ain't nothing back there. Everything back there got, got you where you at today. Yeah. So you keep forward because that's where your blessings lie. Yes, and I feel like God has blessings for both of us because our goal is to make it in. Yeah. I'm going to heaven. You see what I'm saying? I'm going. I had a dream, and I'm going to let you go. I was born with a veil over my face, so I have a gift. I don't charge for my gift. I can read people, and I don't charge for that because God don't want you to do that. But I dreamed I was dead, and I was okay with being dead because my mom and dad and grandma, I lost all of them before I turned 21. So I'm familiar with them. So I'm laying now, 21 grandkids, five children, boys, girls. My twin walking, one of my girl twins walking back and forth. Mama gone, mama gone. I'm laying on, I'm like, I've been saved 30 years, shoot. I'm ready to get up out of here. I'm going to my mom and dad, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm fine, I didn't kill myself. I just died in my sleep like I asked. So I woke up and I heard a voice saying long suffering. I looked at my husband, I said, even into death? And the voice said, yes. So I got to take an inventory. I'm like, who am I into it with? What have I done? And I've been praying for people, you know, like I'm doing now, what, what's wrong? So he said, you gotta forgive in order to be forgiven. So it was two people, my sister and my cousin. I just choose to separate, leave them alone. Yeah. Cause I'm tired of y'all. Y'all my blood, I'm gone, I'm praying for you over here. Long have a spoon. So I called my sister. I said, we gotta do better. I apologize, we, you know, I love you. Clean the plate. Call my cousin, I forgive you. Mm -hmm. I said, I did. Mm -hmm. So, when I did that, I said, never that. Then I had to learn you gotta die before you die. People, places, and things. When you let all these things go, then you're free. Mm -hmm. I tell people, if you wanna fly, drop some weight. Mm -hmm. People, places, and things. Don't let you, why you? Oh, no, I just, oh. <laughs> why you, why you? talking and bringing comfort to others you got to hold two by four on your back yeah you see what i'm saying so yeah. my thing is this 
I asked the creator to use me to use me up. If I die today, I'm okay with that. That means I'm done. Mm -hmm. People that don't want to die, Maybe they ain't doing what they want to do. Christ told that he who tries to find his life shall lose it. And he, yeah. hey, so ultimately we got to be comfortable with death because that comes with this wall. Yeah, it comes daily. But like I say, God see you. When I heard a preacher say, God see you, mm -hmm. I said, yeah, he see us. So why hide? You can hide from men, but you can't hide from God. Mm -hmm. That part. Yeah. So That's I'm true. living to live again. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are here. We're trying to I give know, the tools to our people. I know you're doing the same thing, but y'all doing it y'all way. Yeah. And it's okay, but it's the right way. Right. That's all I'm going to say. Right. <laughs> you got, I want to finish that first one. It's 11 and 4 for yeah. you. Come Just on. to show how to pray. And then hold what you got, though, Kane. We'll, we'll get what you got, too. Yeah, hold that. Mm -hmm. I just want to finish that off for the, for the system. Mm -hmm. Just to get a sense. Mm -hmm. 11 and 4. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Every man praying or prophesying, <clears throat> having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Uh -huh. But every man that prayeth or prophesieth, or every, I'm sorry, but every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, mm -hmm. dishonoreth her head. Right, so when women pray, the Bible teaches to cover what you already have, mm -hmm. to cover the head. I have my pressure in my closet. Right, and, that's, and I cover my head. You right. know, uh -huh. but my thing is this: the most important thing is your soul being saved. When uh -huh. all said and done, when all said and done, mm -hmm. you know where you're going. People can say, people can read, people can study, they can go get the lost books, and on and on and on. And when people say Amen, I'm like, listen to the Amen, a. But everything you're not going to agree with. Mm -hmm. But some things make sense. Like I said, I don't like to be lied to. Yeah. And just like you say, you don't either. Tell me the truth. It can hurt now, hurt later. Mm -hmm. But I'm not calling nobody a lie because that's your belief. Uh -huh. But when we come together as one, we both serve the Creator. I would say we can have we have solidarity mm -hmm. amongst our people for sure. Um, um, but the thing is. <clears throat> We make it easy because God didn't want it to be hard. You know what I'm saying? Billy Carson, he gives a lot of information. Right. But from what I've seen from Billy Carson, he's not offering any solutions to me. But not only that, he going in a time that we were not. Yeah. So why is you bringing back this when we need to be representing what's going on today? Because this can <laughs> represent what's going on today. Actually, it, it prophesies what's going on today. That's right. And so that's, that's what I'm makes saying. this even a colder book. That's right, cause see God needs you guys for such a time as this. Shout out my elders working, trying to get together, making sure we do it better. Free us from this wider pressure. My people catching cases, double life he facing. Scattered all across the world, I see familiar faces. Say we all.